I'm Jordan. I'm Maddie. Maddie. And Alaska. Not Alaska, just Alaska. All right, everything is now out of the house. It is all in the car. <laughs> Let's see the back. My car is going to tip over the opposite Alaska. Way. We've got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Lizzie. Packed to the brim, the fullest ever. Weighed down like you would not believe. And these are about to be Tangerine. Tangerine Travels. Yeah! This is really happening. We are on the road. We are literally on the road. My trusty chauffeur, <laughs> Maddie. Hey guys. Alaska's, Alaska's already upset. Oh, no, she's Maddie. still smiling. She still has her husky smile. She's been having anxiety attacks for weeks now, wondering where on earth we're taking all of her stuff, which is really our stuff that we've been selling. It's her house, it's her stuff. But now it's other people's stuff and we've fit everything we can possibly, possibly fit into this car and we still need to get rid of so, so much. What has it been like for you getting ready for this? Oh man, way more emotional at the end than I thought it was gonna be. Like She was freaking out. The floodgates <laughs> were released and I was freaking out. <laughs> How about you? Oh man, I wish I started earlier selling stuff getting ready. I started way too late. We sold our first things, what, six months ago? About six months ago. And yes, I would fully echo that statement. If there's any piece of advice that I would give anyone trying to travel or move, if you're thinking we're gonna do it six months from now, you should start a year before that. If you think you're gonna do it two months from now, you should start two years before that. Leave more time than you think. And have a plan. I didn't have a plan. I really didn't have a sense of urgency about it until just a couple weeks before. Man, we really felt like we left everything until the last minute. We. We, we really struggled. We, we left we, everything to the last minute, or uh... Okay, she left everything to the last minute. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, get out. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never done anything like this in my entire life. I've lived in Arizona all 25 years, almost 26 years of my existence. And now everything is in my car. We are going to Mexico. Everything, including this furry thing. We decided to pick that up off the side of the road. And it's just kind of cute, I don't know. Everything is packed up into the car and tried to fit our stuff into two suitcases each. Ah, oh, we've never, oh, this is insane. I've never left Arizona. Never left Arizona. And we are leaving. We are not just leaving Arizona, we are leaving the country. What are your thoughts? Yeah, this is pretty crazy. We're excited. I'm excited. Actually, I'm excited and I'm nervous, happy, scared a little bit, anxious, in a good and bad way. What are you scared of? I don't have anything really to be scared of. Certainly not all the warnings our family gave us about all the crazy, terrible things that happened in Mexico. Is um, it more of the uncertainty? It's definitely more of the uncertainty because I'm learning Spanish. We've done our research, we've done our homework, assigned and unassigned. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It seems crazy. We've been both learning Spanish for well over a year. We still both get nervous. We're not used to talking in Spanish. We can barely formulate a sentence even though we know a lot. It'll be a struggle for sure. And I'm not so much worried that I'm gonna say something ridiculous because that is a certainty. I have fully accepted that. I'm sure it will get easier as we do it because that is exactly what happened when we went to Madrid. Even saying gracias, that was a baby step, but it got easier. <laughs> a, a step off the plane there. Jordan and I were trying to communicate with the cab driver. The words just didn't come out and I would like to attribute some of that to jet lag. The only word I could think of was tarjeta and I took a credit card out of my wallet. <laughs> I was like, tarjeta? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I felt like such an idiot, but it got better from there. I'm sure we'll experience a lot of that again. Indeed. Get the jitters out, and then it'll be all good. This girl, she keeps trying to climb up here, and she's not allowed. She has 
most the car protector to sit on. Traveling with a dog, specifically a husky. This husky. This husky. <laughs> it's kind of like hurting a toddler and telling them no, get down, no, and instead of asking, but why? It's just <laughs> and raw, 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 raw. I don't blame her for how little of a spot we've given her, but I still anticipate her trying to get up into the front seat, blocking the entire back window, making it impossible for me to see cars behind me. I would say if you're taking your dog too, who gets just as anxious as this little lady, to have a lot of patience and try to protect your car as much as possible, because it's gonna get scratched up quite a lot. And the hair! Oh, oh my hair, god, she shedding. will not oh stop gosh. shedding! And Laska's back here going, That's really how it was though. We just got through with the Border Patrol. It was, a, it was kind of a weak ass Border Patrol. He barely even looked at us. Had his hands up here. Yeah, you guys have just gone through. Apparently we have VIP privileges like that. I wonder if we'll have those in Mexico. But we do know we are getting really close to Mexico and we're super excited! I just realized we forgot to tell you where we're headed. We're coming from Phoenix and it would have been a three and a half hour drive, but it's turning into what, six hours? Something ridiculous. More time than we anticipated. Our first stop is Rocky Point. We have an Airbnb booked there for one night, and we have another Airbnb booked in Hermosillo, which I think is, what, another four hours? So these first few days, we plan to just stay in places for one night. We don't get to places we actually wanted to see for a few days on our plans. We're planning on heading down the Pacific Coast, maybe heading inland a couple times to perhaps Guadalajara. We do have a Oaxaca vanity plate on the front of our car. Maybe we'll have to visit Oaxaca. Yeah, so originally, um, and on my mom's side, I have family that's from Mexico. Believe it or not, as white as I am, the main percentage I have in me is Mexican, and I have family that comes from Oaxaca. My family name is Salazar, and that is exactly what we have on this vanity plate. we were supposed to have some papers for Alaska, but everyone said they never check if you're driving. 